Welcome to the beautiful Sussex coast with its gorgeous blue, maybe tinged a little bit brown seas. Howdy folks, so I want to talk about this uh, sewage problem that we've had in the UK. Uh, I've seen it on the news the last couple of days and obviously as soon as I saw it my reaction was oh my god that's disgusting. Um, but then you see it, I mean really see it, like in this video here. In some places it's visible and vile. This was shot on Thursday, raw sewage pumped into Langstone Harbour in Hampshire non-stop for 49 hours. And now I find out that this has been happening here in Brighton and Seaford, just down the road. Uh, it's, it's winter time now, um, but in the summertime, I'm in that sea pretty much every week. I've got a kayak, I go out there, I go for a swim. Maybe that's why they're, they're starting to do it in the winter, because people would kick off in the summer, they really would. Uh, but yeah, in the Brighton Sea, this is what I've got to look forward to. Countrywide anger is swelling. In Seaford, there weren't many braving the water. Just up the coast, Libby and her friends have had enough. She's now testing the water she swum in for years. There's E. coli here, she says, and it's getting worse. There's wet wipes, there's sanitary towels, there's tampons. Um, we've had swimmers reporting swimming along and having a sanitary towel stick to their face. Now this is what you Tory voters voted for. Raw sewage in our rivers and seas. Is, is this starting to hit home yet? Are you starting to realise, you know, what, what the Tory's about? And I want to talk to you Northern Red Wall voters that went Tory. Now people go, oh, you can't have a go at the good old Northern working class. Well, no, I'm, I'm not going to have a go. I'm not going to have a go. But what I am going to say is just admit you made a mistake and stop trying to justify this government. I have the utmost respect for anyone in life. When, when anyone in life holds their hands up and said, you know what, I made a mistake. I'm sorry, uh, I'm going to rectify it. That's, I have more respect for that for, for anything, but what I can't stand and I do not have the slightest bit of respect for is when people know they made a mistake, they lie and cover up and try and defend the actions and especially of this government. I can't, I can't stand it, I can't stand it. Just admit you made a mistake. You can't justify these guys. And I've got to talk about the big Brexit elephant in the room here. <laughs> uh, there's no, I, I don't care where you lie on, on, the, on the Brexit debate, but there's, there's no worming out of this one, okay? You can't start blaming this raw sewage problem on the pandemic or blaming it for this, blaming it for that. Categorically, if we were still in the EU, EU environmental laws would not allow us to do this and that's why it is happening because we don't have to uh, abide by those laws anymore where's that police car going is it going okay it's going down that way um you can't deny it and th there's no worming out of it there's no excuses this would not happen under EU environmental laws it, ju it just wouldn't and um like I say, I don't care where you lie on the Brexit debate. I'm not, I'm not here to talk about that. But what I want to do is try and get some common ground where we all have to at least agree on the fact that this hard-lined Tory Boris Johnson Brexit is a disaster. It is a disaster when you've got Boris Johnson with a, an 80-seat majority in the House of Commons. It just becomes a dictatorship. A dictatorship led by Boris Johnson. I mean, <laughs> imagine that if I could hear myself see it saying this 20 years ago, that we would be run in this country with an 80-seat majority for the Conservatives, with Boris Johnson basically running a dictatorship role in this country. I, I, I'd shoot myself in the head right there and then. I, re <laughs> I really would. And he's, he's, he's just got complete control to do whatever he, how he wants. He reminds me of, like... Mr. Burns in The Simpsons, you know, <laughs> the one that owns the, um, the nuclear plant. 
you know, it's, it's basically the same thing. He's, he's running this country the same as... All right, mate, just walk out in front of me. Um, he's running this country in Springfield's image, I swear. It's, he's pumping raw sewage into our seas. He's making devastation for poor and hungry people in this country. He's making energy prices through the roof where we can't even heat our homes you know he is mr burns and this is what you voted for and you have to start <laughs> accepting the fact that you made a mistake now i want to i want to show a little clip of um what the Tor tories had to say about this sewage when people started kicking up a fuss about it thousands took to social media to call out mps who last week voted against legal duties for companies that discharge sewage it's prompted new policy, a promise to enshrine into law requirements that the practice declines. This government's done way more than any government uh, in recent decades to address the problem. <laughs> Are you serious? You've done more. This government's done more than any other in the last decade. You're pumping raw sewage into the sea, man. No government has done that in the last decade. No way. I swear these these I swear that these Tory MPs, when they know that they've got a TV interview, they're 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 getting together going, right, who can talk the most bullshit in an interview? Okay, whoever whoever talks the most bullshit gets the prize. It's the, <laughs> you can't get away with this shit. But now we're saying we're going to go a step further uh, and, and we've listened to the debate that took place uh, in Parliament. So we will write uh, what is already government policy uh, into uh, the statutes to give people that reassurance they seek. Oh, you're going to listen to the people, are you? OK, I mean, was it really necessary for hundreds of thousands of people to sign a petition for you Tory wankers to realise that, oh, maybe people don't want raw sewage pumped into the sea? Absolute joke, absolute joke, and I, 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 I'm going to leave it here because I'll, I'll babble on for ages. I, I, I just need for people to realise that they can't cover up for this government anymore. If you voted for them, fine. You voted for, for Brexit, fine. But we have to agree that this dictatorship of Boris Johnson has got to end, and it has to end in the next election. Until next time, folks. Take care. Well, sir, where should we dump this batch? The playground? No, all those bold children are arousing suspicion. To the park!